Hi guys, so today I want to make something that I've been thinking about making. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it or giving it much thought, but um, I don't even know what to call it to be honest. It's these little barrettes. Um, whenever we would go to Arizona, you know, there's people like on the side of the road or they might have like a little trading post area that sell these kinds of things. So sometimes you might see them at an Indian trading post or something like that, right? Uh, where Native Americans have like their different like earrings and rings and bracelets and all kinds of cute things, things like this for like like Miranda's little hair and I always thought they were so cute so um, today I want to try and make some myself um, I'll link whatever I can in the description box to help you create your own um, those would be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase I'm still links and you know I'm happy enough you know before the pandemic we're going to Arizona pretty often and then we would stop in and out on the way up to like the Grand Canyon you're passing all kinds of different towns different areas and generally you would see a lot of um, these kind of like a uh, little post again, like I said, usually on the side of the road they're selling like handmade items or like Indian fry bread. It's so good. This time around when we went this last time, uh, I didn't see anybody. I was like, okay, what's going on? And honestly, we didn't go up as high as the Grand Canyon. So I think we cut ourselves short of like those areas where you could really um, support, you know, these individual people and things. But I did see some at a shell when I was leaving, like driving out of, I think, I might have been in Prescott. I can't remember. But anyway, um, and I was like, oh, this is exactly because I had gotten some from Miranda last time. It's been a while since the pandemic that we've gone. So, you know, her other ones are worn and somewhere I don't even know where they are to be honest let's just be honest right we don't know where they are so the ones she had last time were longer and generally the people there they sell them for like seven dollars a pair or like two for ten you know these kinds of things and um and they're so cute so uh, let me show you a real quick picture that way you can kind of have an idea what that looks like and then Miranda of course of the day was wearing one and made a funny face for me but <laughs> she was but look how cute it just kind of tucks in your hair it's not really meant to be shown at least not in my opinion we usually tuck this part in so you don't see it the clip and then that little piece dangles down so I mean I think teenagers I think a lot of people would love these to be honest I again these are short they have longer ones but when I saw them at the shell they were literally $22.99 a pair and I was like you've got to be kidding me do you think that that people at the shell paid these people that much money to sell their wares I don't think so but either way I was like what so yeah you can imagine it was 40 some odd dollars for these both um but again I just I, I love to support individual people that are just there selling their things and I didn't see anybody had I seen them I would have stopped I would have stopped you know a hundred percent so I was just like ah so either way I, I've always had an idea that I want to try making my own so um I think the other ones Miranda had didn't have the little feather and these I think are guinea hen feathers which are really really cute that I went to Michael's and Joanne's locally. They don't have them. They have them on their website. Of course, that means I have to order them. Um, so I'm not going to have them right now to show you guys. And honestly, I'm probably going to come back, not today, but to finish this video just because um, I am going to start them with these clips. So I want you to notice on these clips. Sorry for the long primer in case you're not. Uh, and I don't even know what I'm going to wear. Um, call them, you guys. I think they're sometimes called hair extensions, even though they're like beads or bead wraps, but they're not really bead wraps so or hair wraps. So we'll see what I end up calling these things. But um, they have these three little holes, right? And that's where you're holding this guy on. And all it is is simply some fire line or whatever you want to call that stuff um, in here. And then just loop back around. There's a bead holding them both. So then you just bead them, bead them, bead, bead, bead. And at the end, you're using a crimp bead to hold on the... Um, the feather like I said the other ones Miranda had didn't always end with a feather I think they just had like a bigger bead at the bottom so that's up to you um, I did get, pick up some feathers but they're not as pretty as these like these are so pretty and soft and they don't get like damaged they just look really nice and again you can end it with another bead or you know a dangle or whatever is it you want to put on the end of it super cute different colorways um, so I want to talk about these so these I picked up at Target I actually went by Sally Beauty and they didn't even have any at all so I was like well, that's weird um, just the little snap clips right but again these don't have the little holes so I am going to use these because they're here and then what I'm saying I'm going to come back later because I know I have to pick up my kids right now and um, I need to find my my smaller beads like these so as you can see it's a very um, traditional design but then it has like the little hearts so that was very cute and then these like little nuts that are adorable oh my gosh 
And then this one has, again, very traditional design as far as the colorway and the style. And then they have like these little eh, kind of butterfly shapes. And then again, those little nuts that are just adorable. So again, maybe six hour 80 beads plus some seed beads. So I just need to grab mine. I have tons of them. I went into Michael's. I said, I'm not buying any more of those, even though they're lovely and I want them. I have tons of beads. So no, no worries. We're going to use these guys still. And we're just going to hook it around this, which literally means it might fall off later, but I don't think so because it is skinnier here and it's wider here but I did order the ones that I finally found on Amazon that were like this that have the little hole they're gonna take it almost a week to come in so that's kind of why I want to make the video in case you guys want to make these like a stocking stuffers or just something cute something fun and you want to get started on them so I'll have linked these clippies that have the little hole um, in the description box um, I'm assuming they're about the same size because sometimes these clips can be like really big but again the whole point is to kind of hide them in your hair um, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun so I'm like super looking forward to getting started with this I just want to show you the difference with the clips we're still gonna strap it here I think and I don't know if I'm gonna have it come off the top though so if this is in your hair you know and it's like there or come out the bottom right you can definitely do that too like just don't put this little bead to like down here so we'll have to be a little more ingenious with that. I was even thinking you can clip it up from this side right because what does it matter if you're hiding it in your hair anyway if you have it this way and it comes off this side whatever but uh, I'll probably start over here but just know that generally you're supposed to put in this little loop and then when these come in I'll just do another video because um, they did have some for adults that were longer and it was only one for like $19 and I was like what is going on at least I found some but I was really bummed out that um, I wasn't able to support like a local person there you know Hopefully whoever but, um, created these still got to hook up themselves because I mean, that is exorbitant I was like you gotta be kidding me anyway um, I'm gonna grab my supplies and definitely get started I have been looking forward to making these for like years so I'm super happy to um, have something beautiful to pattern off of so I'll be right back okay guys so we have our clippies that we talked about I'll be waiting for the ones coming from Amazon that are better for this project I also ordered better feathers <laughs> but these are the ones they had like at Michael's and my local Joann's, they had none, which is always weird, because you know, they usually have them where, like, where they have the kid stuff. But again, um, I would like the guinea, like, what is this called? I know it's a guinea hen, but it's also, um, oh my gosh, pheasant feathers, but like smaller ones, right? So the ones I ordered on Amazon are two to three inches, which is what I want, like smaller guys. But we have these other ones, and again, you know how to put feathers. Today I'm going to do like a Christmassy theme, I think, on these, so, you know, it might not work, or maybe you can put something else, or... They will still put feathers. They're cute. <laughs> so anyway, I have these bead kits from like last year from Michaels and I was like, oh, this would be perfect because there are seed beads in here. There are some that are a little bit larger and the seed beads that are in here. I mean, how perfect are these? The red, white, and I would like green. These are a little bit bigger though. Hmm. We'll see. Um, I didn't realize I wanted the white because I was like, oh, the white's perfect. But then the greens over here and they're a larger size but we'll mix and match and then maybe break them up with some of these guys I don't know here and there I also had this little gold pack that I had from a, some beads that I had picked up on Amazon they just came with those this stuff is what's important your beadalon bead stringing wire so this is a seven strand I always forget what they call this stuff. It just says bead string and wire. Some of them might call it Fireline or these other things. I think that's a brand name. Anyway, it should, I was going to say, theoretically, come away from this thing yet without taking this off. That's what I'm looking for at the beginning of it. Let's put this back on before it completely unravels. So you can generally still pull what you need from it. Um, it used to move. I'm doing something wrong because I'll say this used to move with it. Um, but let me grab my little sample and then we need a crimper and you can do this with any bead that you can crush um, uh, crimping tubes I did pick up this uh, particular one just to try it out the bead buddy one step crimper um, it comes with a few to try out they're not inexpensive so I know there are other more inexpensive you know um, products out there just different crimp tubes again I wasn't really thinking about like how thick this is and the tube has to be so much so we'll see what happens so we have this guy you basically pop it in there you give it the the old squeeze and you're good to go but it's very interesting because it says to place it in there and then I guess we're squeezing this it doesn't really make a lot of sense I guess we gotta pick that up very interesting and then only squeeze here and here hmm very interesting we'll have to see about that I guess they're saying the first part is just these two so you open this up place your uh, crimp tube with the wire coming out of it and then let that go and then do this we will see 
and there's a video on beadbuddy.com. Okay, let me grab my sample. And, and these are shorter, unless they're for like Miranda. Um, it can be however long you like. I'm going to make them a little bit longer just so that she has something different, you know. Um, so let me take this off, I guess, again, even though I really don't want this to unravel on me. Uh, let's see here. And I get, it's whatever you want. So I'm just eyeballing this. Like that long? Sure. You know? <laughs> and generally I would cut them with wire cutters, but it's not really... I mean, it has wires in it, but they're very thin. So I use scissors. Don't use scissors. Use a wire cutter or scissors that you use for heavy duty stuff, just not your <laughs> paper scissors like I just did. Because um, it might give it a little in there. And again, I just kind of, we're just going to try this out and see what happens. I think what I'm going to do is place it around here, like I said. I don't know if I want it around here. I think what I'm going to do is place it underneath and coming through here. So I'm placing it under the whole thing so I can bring it up through the center so it can wrap around. And that's just because this one doesn't have the hole. Now, if it had the hole, we would just <laughs> put it on the whole Sorry, side. I'm just trying to pull that through there, and it kind of escaped on me. You can add a crimp tube up here, too, if you want to keep it more safely. I'm going to let this go a little bit, though, because they're not quite even. And I'm not trying to scratch this. So what happens with this stuff, this beading wire, fire line, whatever. I think the fire line might be the, the one that's like fishing wire, fishing string. But either way... Um, it's coated, so I don't really want to break that coating. So I'm being very careful when I wrap this around here. I'm going to close that. I guess it doesn't matter at this point. And here, all they did was put a little bead. They didn't even use a crimp tube. They just put a bead to keep the two things coming together and then going out. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, putting a crimp tube would be easy because it'll hold it and you don't have to worry about it. Like right now, I'm going to have to struggle with this until it stays right. So either way, I'm going to string both these ends. Right through here, I try to get it about even. Hopefully they both go in. Yeah. And again, this one's going to be coming out the top like this, just because that's what we can do. Which basically means if we open it up, I think it'll... Yeah, it'll probably stay. Well, I mean, you really have to take it off there yourself. Now we can also tighten it up when we go to actually do our stuff. We can kind of push it so it's a little tighter, which is probably what I'll do. And now we can start with our pattern and things. So do you want to put these things um, on like a beading mat, like a little piece of felt, one of those trays? I'm going to see if we can just bead right out of these because it'd be nice. <laughs> Number one, it'd be nice if we could. But let me take the um, plastic coverings off these and I'll be right back. So again, we want these little guys. They're called seed beads. You can find 11O or check beads. Uh, if you're looking at Toho beads or something like that, those are those cost more. They're fancier because they're like perfect. Where these guys are just not exactly the same size. What I'm gonna do is follow the pattern that we have here. So they put roughly. And another easy way to do this is just to kind of shove that in there and see. I already have three on there, so three. I want ten of them. Uh, and then I'll repeat the same pattern on the other one. So I don't know if you want to do them at the same time. But we have three, six, and you're basically just using this wire as a needle if you're not patient enough to kind of just pick at it. I'm like, I'm not trying to catch anything. It's just when you shove it in there, you usually have good luck that something's going to pop on. Seven, eight, nine, and then maybe if you really want to look, you can look for one and say, okay, that's ten. Okay, so we have ten of the gold, and then... I really want it to be very Christmassy, but again, I don't have the right green. I'm sure I do somewhere in my stash. So maybe we do red, like one red one. And these guys are little <laughs> in this kit. Red. Oh, I just want one. See, those are stuck together. So again, um, these guys aren't perfect. Red, white, and then maybe I go with green, but a chunkier, bigger green one. Right? Just to break it up. So gold, red, white, green. And then maybe we put in... Do I have enough of these? Ooh. No, maybe... Hmm. Just trying to see what else we could do. What pattern I want. Uh, what's in here? I don't know if I have enough of these crackly ones, so maybe we go with the red pearly one. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. 
red. So if that's what I'm going to do, then I'm going to go back to that green. And then white. And I'm just doing one white and one red. Let's, oh, let's get that white one back on there. One white. And that's all we're going to do, guys. I'm just going to follow the little pattern that I feel like. And since we're back off that, now we go back into the gold, and then they start using less. So on this one, they did 10, and then they started the pattern. So if they're using less, let's say three, they have four gold. In my case, it'll be four gold. And, you know, it's whatever you want. You don't have to follow the pattern. Ah, so instead of watching paint dry or me try to catch whatever <laughs> little beads, that's two, three having a little better luck. You guys have a bead spinner. I have a bead spinner and that helps you do this too. Uh, four gold beads and then back into the pattern of red, white, green. Ah, oh, red, white. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear commercials in the background. I have my TV on and I can hear them real well. Red, white, and green. And then maybe this time I put like a pearl, like the white one. I don't know. Just to mix it up. Uh, let's get that in there. And then I'll repeat the pattern again back to green. And green. Oh, one green. Uh, white, red. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. How cute. <laughs> I know it might be hard to see. So. Then, you know, from there, this person, whoever created this one, started doing... Actually, they didn't even go back into this pattern. They just went into this other pattern where it went, like, pink beads, clear beads, pink beads, clear beads with these little nuts. So it's whatever it is that you want for your pattern that works for you. Uh, I think I'm just going to go back into the same pattern and just keep doing that. So four gold at this point. That's one. And maybe we'll do something different, but two, three... Again, I'm just making this Christmassy for Miranda. The next time when I get those other um, supplies in, there's four. Back into gold. And then green, white, red. I do want to include, I need to see how these are. These little guys, how cute would that be, right? So green, white, what I'm going to do is try to make this so that it's even. So I have green, white, red. And then maybe again going into... Oh, you guys. I'm so silly. See? Just totally change that one around. And I'm going to do is holding them. I'm going to switch off. And I meant to go red, uh, white, then green. I don't know where the hole is for these guys. So red, white then green. And I keep saying I'm going to let it go, but you know what? It's so fun. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the red. Um, this little guy. Again, you can mix and match with whatever it is you want to plop in there that makes sense for you. Okay. And then I'm going to go green, white, red, four gold. And then I think I'm going to place this guy somewhere here because that way I can finish it off the same pattern. So I'll come back when I come to the Santa Claus. Okay. I'll right finish one more repetition. Um, after that red one, green, white, red, the four gold, red, white, green, and I think I'm going to go ahead and place him. Now we could differentiate him with even more like beads, and I'm going to have him facing down because these go down on your face like this, right? But again, if you don't want the feather at the end, I would put him at the end or something, you know? So we have that little guy, oh my gosh, how cute, and then we can go back to green. I mean, we can even pop some gold beads in there. Ooh, you know what? Let's do that, just to make it a little different. Let's get some of these guys. So gold, just to really make Santa pop. And then again, head first. Back to gold. And green. White, red. And then I'll continue the pattern backwards. So the next thing we'll be putting in... Uh, the four golds, and then red, white, green, the red again, pearl, all that. And I'm just going to follow the pattern until we get to the end. Okay, so I'm at the end. I have a little bit left. I mean, I could have probably added another set, but I basically did the same pattern back to even the ten beads that were at the beginning. 
And so we're going to finish this guy off. It's a little bit scary because I'm going to take one of these beads that's a little bit larger because what they did here, and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to put some kind of clip on the end of this thing so I don't lose all my beads, guys. Again, I'm not using a beading mat, which I probably should. Oh, this is getting wonky. <laughs> Let's put that on there at least. Something. Is they put the feather. Now, oh, white feathers might work. Where's the other pack? Okay, I just had two packs of feathers, and of course I already misplaced one there. There are some tiny feathers in here. I mean, there are some really small ones. Let's see. Oh, a gold feather? Hmm. This might be nicer than I thought. Let's see. Let's open this and make sure we reseal it. I was going to throw my scissors down and put the plastic away. <laughs> no, no, we want to put the plastic down. Oh, nice. Resealable. And I, the first thing I did was, like, break the bag. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's just a ton of feathers in here. I'm going to go through this. I mean, this is pretty. The thing is, the end of it, there, you know, some of them are a little bit big. Oh, that cute little gold one, like this little guy would work really well. Oh my goodness. I guess they don't both have to be gold, but that'd be better. Hopefully I can find another one in here that's not like totally free like this guy. Like that one's gold, but he's a little messed up. But I'm sure there'll be another one. Uh, like a similar one I would love to find. Oh, look at this little brown one. But that's not what we want. Hold on. Mmm, I'm going to say not quite exactly the same. Before I really add that one on, I want to make sure I have my pair of feathers that I would like for it. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, this one's, oh, both of these are cute. Look, those match probably better t to each other. Actually, this one will probably end up looking like this one anyway, right? You see how they're... Uh, little buddies okay perfect nice 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 and so I'm just gonna add a little feather so it still has that Native American feel um, okay so what they did <laughs> got this here going what I'm gonna do is reframe my my picture put some of these things away so we can really focus on what I'm doing here because this is basically what creates the thing, you know, so we really want to keep an I'm eye on that. All my hands are so dry. That's just how it is right now. Okay. How do we open this? Oh, how cute. So, again, get crimp beads that work for you. Now, these are the kind that are going to crimp down the center. I don't really care about that. Honestly, I just want to flatten it. So, if I really wanted to, I could just use, like, my regular, um, any tool that I have to flatten things out. And I have, like, a little plier here. But... What we're going to do is place that crimp bead, and it is small, but there are larger ones, and again, um, depending on your feather, you probably would need a larger one. So I'm going to place the crimp bead. I'm going to bring this little guy, push it up in there if I can. Yeah, see, that's why it was like, ooh, I need to be careful. So there's that guy. He's pushed in there. We're keeping everything nice and tight, remember? So we can do some adjustment there, but I'm trying to keep everything nice and tight. Clean my little feather, pop him up in there, and if he can go up far enough to go into the bead, that big gold bead, that would be better. Because I know it'll hold it nicer instead of just the very end of it. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, so I have this crimping tool that I think is weird. Because <laughs> uh, I haven't used one in a while, you guys. So I'm going to pick that up. I think that's it for that. And then I'm just going to crush it. So, again, that feels so weird. Is that it? I guess that's it. Okay. And then push this to unlodge it because it wants to stay. Uh, let's see. Let's get this guy out. Come on, buddy. Come on out. I haven't used one of these in so long, you guys. Ah. Okay. There we go. You want to completely release it. And I'll show you what that crimp looks like. So why this crimping thing is interesting is that it pushes down the center. So when I put this in here, let's pretend we're making a loop and you have a crimp bead, you know, down in here. They want you to put it in this little system up and down. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this on top of this one, not sideways like this. Like you're not going to lay it in here like this. They want you to put it up and down. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. And um, so you're going to place it here and that's going to hold it. And then you're going to push here you know so this helped you kind of hold it in place this crimping this is what crushes it but the crimp is being crushed from left and right like here and here not top down <laughs> that's why they want you to lay it in here 
and um, so we can get this out of here now and now that we're like engaged okay so I just want to make that clear because the picture is weird and I haven't used this tool in a long time but yeah it wants you to put it in like this up and down not side to side okay so if you're seeing that loop no they want you up and down <laughs> so when you squeeze it it pushes in on the sides and the crimp basically crimps in here so it holds in one tube and the other I don't know how to explain that but that's the best I could do and so basically when we go to do the second one we're gonna again keep it tight I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this other one you guys I'm so excited about this this is so cute um, and then the little extra piece that's over here we want to cut that off so like I said this stuff is not inexpensive so if you want next time you know or just to use the whole thing I just didn't know what I was where I was going with this so I'm gonna leave it for now and then we'll cut them all away with some wire cutters at the end I'm literally going to string this the same way I strung this side and I am super happy with this oh my gosh I have so many ideas okay I'll be back you know these take literally minutes I have one more thing to put that little gold bead so on this one I didn't put the Santa Claus because I figure um, you know it'd be cute to put another character or just you know just let the focus be on him on that one side so we have that we have this I'm just holding on to everything literally minutes I just went and sat in front of my couch and just did the same thing um, sometimes it is easier to pour some of them in your hand and you just kind of scoop them up that way whatever is it's easiest for you of course that's what we're always aiming for so again and I just kept going down the ladder there um, and I switched out the colors so I figured it was gonna start mismatching somewhere anyway so I did um, white and then red instead of how I had it before let's close up just a little bit here and so again nice and tight so you have a nice tight um, loop up here since we didn't use a crimp bead there pushing everything up I'm gonna bring our feather pop him also in there ah, earlier I did it a different way so now I'm facing backwards pop him up into that crimp bead and if you can get him further in like towards that gold bead that'd be great <laughs> you know just get him in as far as you can okay now when I bring my bead crimper thing over again let's undo this this is weird this thing like locks in or something I don't know feels odd okay that's what it is <laughs> this one this one engage that's what you want so hold on so now we let it go and like I said I'm putting one on top of the other I have the little feather and his little um, what's that piece in the middle I don't know spine piece <laughs> and then the other the piece of fire line or uh, beading wire that's sticking out is they're right on top of each other so I'm lifting this up holding on to this part of the handle lifting this up just to get that situated I should show you a little closer I guess it has like a little opening there that's where we're situating it uh, one on top of the other right and then this guy's gonna hold on to it it's so funny because it doesn't feel like it's doing anything but when you let it go it's like oh wow it's holding it again one on top of the other and then these guys on the side are gonna come in and push it in like this that's basically what we're looking for so let's just make sure everything's yeah I'm gonna do that again because I feel like I let it go and I feel like I lost my little my little uh, feather for a second there really want that in there okay let's do it again so top of the handle plus this guy holding on to our little bead there and then we just give it a quick crush this thing is very interesting I'm telling you okay so to let it go again I guess that's it hold on it has to disengage that's the thing that's the problem right there disengage bring it out gotta let go buddy <laughs> gotta let go at some point here uh, let's see when does that that's the one part it doesn't really talk about in the instruction but there we go <laughs> there he is so weird I just kind of messed with it until it loosened up oh my gosh you guys how cute of course my little feather came out a little little ruffled there let me um, hopefully I was in I was so concentrating on it, I don't even know if I was in um, frame uh, let me grab a a wire cutter so I'll usually use my three in one the three in one would be a little more difficult because it, the wire cutting part is like down here so it'd be hard to get in here more of a precise cut but it's just a little mini cutter I got the other day how cute are these okay so just bring it over here kind of get it close and cut that wire down now I'm trying to stay away from the feather so I'm being very careful about this Let's see if there we go 
And same thing for this guy. Again, I ruffled my feather a little bit. <laughs> Close as I can without cutting my feather. Come on, buddy. Oh, this one's not cutting as easy. There we go. And there we are. Cute little hair clippy. What I'm going to do is, um, I know you've probably heard that bell going off. Maybe in my alarm. It was to pick up Dorian, but I'm going to pick up Miranda a little bit. Pop that in her hair. I have some pictures for you guys. So hopefully it makes sense what this is all about. Super cute. I mean... Hopefully, um, if you make it out to a place that has um, some Native American presence and they have um, like little stands by the road, things like that, you can support them. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. They have such gorgeous designs, really, really amazing stuff. Um, you know, beadwork, all everything that goes along with that, little pouches and stuff like that. So, anyhow, I uh, just want to try my hand at it. I think this is a really fun take, just totally something totally different. And uh, yeah, I'll have some images coming up. I'll have the links for you know different items that you might need to create something like this in the description box. Um, at least you can get more info uh, from them too. And I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now. This is probably the worst lighting. I figure why not? I'll show you kind of what this clippy does. So basically you're taking that and you're kind of tucking it in your hair so it goes underneath your hair. You know what I'm saying? So it's not showing that clippy part, but then this part is. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. All right. It'll be much cuter on Miranda, I promise. <laughs> I'll be back.